In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add eyelashes to a portrait. Now, this is something that a lot of people avoid. They simply miss this process and don't think that it's part of a retouching stage, which it is. So this is the before and this is the after. And you can see that it makes the world of difference if you just spend time cleaning up the eyelashes and just making everything a little bit more symmetrical. So I'm gonna walk you through the process and show you how to do it. It's really easy and it only takes a couple of minutes, honestly. So the first thing we wanna do is come to our layers panel and we wanna come down to the bottom and just create a new layer. And you can label that if you want with eyelashes, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna call it eye. Then what we wanna do is come up to window and then we want to select brushes and when this opens up we want to come up to brush settings here now from here we want to select this shape dynamic so we just click on that make sure it's ticked like mine is and from here we want to come over and change this control so yours will probably say off to start with and we want to change that to fade so as fade comes up, what this is going to enable us to do is fade the brush. So with an eyelash, it starts off thick and then it travels into a really thin point. And this is going to help you achieve that. This number here will basically determine the length of the eyelash. So at the minute it's set to 50, yours will probably be set at 100. It could be set at 500. And you can see down the bottom here with this preview how long that eyelash is going to be. So I always start with 50 as a as a good starting point. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I wanna keep this box handy. So I'm just gonna leave it up to the corner here on the left. You can make this a little bit smaller. If you just grab the edges there, you can push that along. And this will then mean that you've always got access to it. So what we wanna do is also determine what color we're gonna use and when it comes to the eyelashes, 99% of the time they're gonna be black. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can use this tool up here, which is the eyedropper. So if you click on the eyedropper, you can then come over to the eyelash, you can zoom in and just select the color there. Now what you'll notice at the top here is that I've got sample size and it's on point sample. And that means it will basically read one pixel. If yours is set to three by three or five by five or any of the others, then change it to point sample. Because if we do say five by five, when I take a sample, it can read other colors. And you can see here, there's a mixture of a brown and a black there. Okay, so point sample will mean one pixel. You can also come to the color down here and you can change whatever you want. So if you notice when I do a sample the black is down here that is 100% black but it's not actually 100% black so we want to make sure that we get close to an eyelash color that that is actually on the eye so you can see here it's just slightly off so I'm going to press OK to that I'm going to go back to my brush tool I can just press B on the keyboard and that bring me back to my brushes now if you want to make the eyelash thicker all you need to do is change the brush size and you can do that by pressing the bracket keys on your keyboard and you can see as I make that bigger and smaller down here you'll see what happens so if I click and then drag you'll see that as I go larger with my brush I'm gonna get obviously a larger eyelash if I go smaller then again if I click and drag it's gonna be a lot smaller the other setting that we've got control over is the flow and if we push this up to 100 percent you'll see that when i click and drag it's going to be quite heavy if i make the brush bigger you can see as i click it's really really heavy and it tends to look a little bit fake so i would recommend that you set this anywhere between 40 and 60 percent i'm going to go with 50 just to start with and okay let's make a start so i'm going to reduce the size a little bit and I'm going to make a start down here so I'm going to click and I'm just going to pull away and you can see there 
that if I carry on doing this, then it's going to be okay. But the eye, the actual eye is curved. So we need to work with that shape. So if you press R on your keyboard, hold it down, you can spin the image. Okay. And what that will mean is, is that you can see that the whole image is, is being completely spin round. If you want to reset this, just press the escape key. All right. It's really, really simple. But this will help you, especially if you're using a, 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 a pen. It means that you can then keep the same angle for when you're applying these eyelashes. So let's just add some more down here. And I can also change my angle as well. Now I'm using a mouse at the minute, which is not the best thing at all for something like this. You're much better off with a pen. So let's make the brush a little bit thicker. There we go. I'm going to rotate. And I'm going to click and drag. So the trick here is to get the angle right. And you can see on the previous three or four there, I didn't get the angle right. So if I press Control Command Z, just to go back, you can see there, I can just continue the process. So if I get something wrong, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's come up to here. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. There we go. So we just add some more eyelashes in here. And just make it a little bit thicker. So when it comes to, for instance, this top section here, you can see that there's been a few little mistakes with the makeup. Um, there's a there's an eyelash there that is fallen off. There's eyelashes going into the eye and it just looks a little bit messy. There's some mascara around here as well. And that's quite a common thing to happen. So what I'm going to do is go back to my background image and I'm going to use the spot healing brush tool. And I'm just going to click on these little areas here where the mascara has not basically been applied correctly. So I'm going to select there. I'm going to tidy this up as well. That looks pretty good. And let's take out this eyelash here. There we go. So for these ones here in the middle, what I would usually use is the patch tool. So I'm just going to click around them eyelashes, drag until I get a good match. So around there and let go. That's done a pretty good job. And let's do the same in here. And then with these eyelashes here, you can see that actually there is a bulk of them here. So let's just tidy them up. There's one coming down here. Let's just tidy that up. And this here. There you go. That's done a pretty good job. And there is some areas here where these are overlapping. So you can use the patch tool for that as well. You can use the spot healing brush tool. You can also use the clone tool just to tidy things up. So there's some here. So you'll know when you're using the wrong tool because it just won't blend as well. There we go. So let's go back to the eye and go back to the brush key, pressing B on the keyboard. And let's start adding in these eyelashes. So all I'm doing is sweeping up and I'm going to make the brush size a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, because we don't want these to be perfect because they won't be. Eyelashes are not perfect. They're not all the same length. They're smaller, they're longer, they're thicker. So keep changing these lengths and thickness. And again, let's come up to the flow. Let's just maybe go up to 60. And the idea is, is that we just want to add volume. So let's rotate this and use the space bar just to move. You get the hand tool there. Okay, and I'm actually trying to curl these a little bit as well. And again, let's rotate. And just add some more in here. So that looks pretty good. Let's rotate again so that I can get a better angle. A 
Okay, and it's well worth looking at what you're doing. So for there, I've gone a little bit too fast. I'm going to press Control Command Z just to go back a few. I think there's pretty good. And if we look, some of the original eyelashes are coming under the eye there. So if I take this layer away, just click on the eyeball, you can see there that naturally they, they've been folding down. So I'm going to go back to the background. And this time I might use the clone tool. Um, I think the patch key, the patch tool rather is pretty good for this so let's just go over there and yeah that's blended perfectly well so that's fine that's taking care of that there for us go back to the brush tool and maybe just make it a little bit thicker and just try and get these angles right so it's just practice and persistence with this and again you can change this flow bring this down a little bit just so we get some finer eyelashes so try and work with what the image is is telling you so sometimes if you think about the thickness of an eyelash it, it starts really thick out here and then goes drops off like here we could add more if we wanted to so we could certainly bring some eyelashes back into the areas that aren't there let's rotate this again there we go so let's add some more down here. And change that angle again. Just add some more along there. So we're just looking to basically add volume to the total eye that looks pretty good for me I'm going to come back and I actually made a mistake there um, I didn't actually do it on the eyelashes layer which is that happens I done it on the background layer which was uh, a, a complete schoolboy error um, yeah if that happens then just go back find out where you were uh, and then do it on the, on the proper layer there so it's a mistake but it's fine because it, it, it doesn't matter. I don't need to change anything anyway. Um, so it's not the end of the world. That happens. It can happen to the best of us. So to tidy up maybe this portion of the eye here, let's again, let's use the spot healing brush tool and just tidy up some of the eyelashes that are coming on here. Okay. Making sure you're on the right layer. Okay, good. There's a little bit there. So that looks pretty good. Um, there's a couple of little bits here and there. You've got to really take your time with this and just think about cleaning it all up. Look for little splodges and uh, anything that's going to be distracting to the eye. So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe this bit here needs to come away. There, that looks good. So let's press the escape key just to straighten everything up. Let's come down to the history and click on the little camera and get a before and after. So you can see there that we've done a pretty good job. We've tidied up the eyelashes. We've pulled them all up so they look like they're going in the, in the right direction. You can then come in and look at areas that you might want to uh, change. For instance, I, as I click the eye where all the eyelashes are on there on the background layer, I've noticed that this particular one is... Uh, is not sitting right for my liking so I would just use the spot healing brush tool on that or the clone tool or whatever tool is going to work best for that particular spot there um, so yeah we can try the patch tool just to tidy that bit up there that's good and just move that across there a little bit there we go so let's go to history and take another snapshot so we can see the before and after from that and you can see there that that's worked pretty well and again looking at this now as we progress I can see that I would actually want to then take this little section out here and maybe these sections here so I would then carry on and continue working them sections like I've just done there okay so let's have a look at that before and after so you can see there that it's a really simple quick way of just tidying up eyes and it makes a big, big difference. You can use this on animals. You can use this 
uh, obviously for beauty work and portraits it makes a big big difference i hope that's helped i'll catch you in the next video take care bye bye